for you. And, and up here. Doctor, please talk to me now. Please talk to me. Take it easy. Sit down first, please. Sit down. Yeah. So, how are you today? I'm fine, Doctor. Good. I'm fine. How is my daughter? What's the problem? Well, see, is my daughter still alive? <laughs> Look, Mr. Igbama. I must confess to you, leukemia is not one of those easily combated ailments. Leukemia? Yes. She has leukemia. It's serious. God. God. Is she going to die? Well, I, I don't know, but I still believe she can survive. Okay. Well, doctor, I'm still listening to you. Yes, she can live. But you see, Mr. Ibenwa. It's going to involve so much money. It's going to cost you a whole lot of money. All right. How much money are we talking about here, Doctor? Uh, to the tune of about 700 to 750,000 to Naira. Hey! F1. See, Mr. Ibenwa, what we need here is hard work. You need to work hard. Seven hundred and something thousand naira. You understand? Oh. Hmm. As I was saying, Pastor, it's not for every little need of the church that you have to summon the parish council. Just come to me. I have enough to cater for the needs of the church. Hmm? Chief, Chief, here is here is a check. For five million Wow! Yes. This is wonderful! I can multiply that so many times over. Just tell me what you require in the church and I will do it. If only to express my gratitude to God for all what he has been doing for me. Well, it's for the few of you that realize the goodness of God in your lives. There is no way I can forget what God has been doing for me and to me. The Lord has been wonderful. That's the only one where I can express my gratitude by supporting the church at all times. Thank you, Chief. I'll go and deposit this immediately. And um, may the Lord richly reward you for responding positively to his work. Thank you, Thank you Chief. Uh, uh, thank you, Pastor. Hey! And uh, if you have any problem of the back, don't hesitate to. It's a whole world with you, it's alright. Thank you. What are you doing on this seat? What are you doing on this seat? Get up from there. I'm sorry, sir. Do you know how much it cost me to make this seat? You think it's for everybody? Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're sorry. You better be. Take a good look at yourself, Ben. You got an image of a woeful failure. And what is very pathetic about their situation is that you inflicted it on yourself. And then you come to help me at every available opportunity. What is wrong with you, Ben? Oh, well, I said I'm sorry. Uh, that's not why I'm here. Why are you here? Why are you here? It's because of my daughter, Nenna. Yes. She's sick. She's very ill. She's on admission. In fact, she's dying. I don't have money. For all I care, she might as well be dead. I don't give a damn. Huh? Yes! You had an opportunity to improve on your life. You spawned it and preferred to identify with the dreads of society. Now you come to hound me all the time for money. And you think I can give that money to you, Ben? You think I can give the money to you? Oh, no. Oh, please. Oh, please help. Don't let my daughter die. Look, listen. Go home, sit down, and let her die. Perhaps her death might just change your circumstances and make you think progressively. One more thing. I am going up. Don't let me find you here when I come down there. Oh, oh, please. I, there's nowhere else for me to go. 
go. I can't go to any other person or go. about him. You don't know what I've been through, with Chief. I have explained everything. I have told him the way the situation is. He promises me money, but he doesn't bring anything. You talk about friends. Which friends? It's only when you're in difficulty in this country that you will realize that those who call your friends are just mere fair weather friends. When you're in difficulty, they will desert you like they've deserted me now. Even those who owe me little money, I can't find them anywhere. You think I'm just folding my arms like that? That is not enough reason for us to sit down here and watch our daughter die. I don't want anything to happen to my daughter. So you better go out there and do something. Do something now okay. because I don't want to lose my daughter. It's okay. It's all right. I'll, 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 I'll find you more time. Go I'll, and do something. Madam, no day. Now who you want again? Now you're stupid here. Your head, I won't see. Solomon, what is wrong? I saw no day. no day. Solomon, Oga, who is the animal making that noise? Oga, now your animal brother Benjamin. So I am now an animal to you, Solomon. I don't blame you. You hear? I don't blame you at all. Solomon, Oga. Why you have chosen to be wicked, not just to me, but to all my father's children. Why? So you came back here just to ask me such a silly question? That's not all, sir. I've also come to know why you don't want to help me save the life of my daughter. My daughter is lying critically ill in hospital. She's almost given up the ghost. But for 750,000 Naira, I don't have it. Okay, your generosity is well known throughout the world. You are known all over the world for being very generous. In this country, the churches, they know you. You give a lot of money to churches. Even Muslims, they know you. You give money to their cause. They've even given you chieftaincy titles. But to your own blood relations, nothing. We should not die in penury. Uncle, why don't you tell me? Look at me in the eyes and tell me that you are not my father's real brother. Look at me and tell me I'm not your real nephew. Then I will understand that. Uncle, remember, when things were rough for you, I come to your house, I feed very well, and you give me transport money. In fact, you were the one who asked me to come out from the village into the city. 
Things were very rough for you, uncle. I knew then, but you were helping me. Now you are so rich that I don't even, I'm not even sure that Bill Gates is richer than you. But then you want us to suffer and die in penury. Look at my, my daughter. If I have offended you in any way, forgive me, uncle. Forgive me. But look at my daughter. The poor girl is innocent. Punish me. Let me take the punishment. But let my daughter die. But let my daughter die. Get up. No, no, I won't get up. Let me kneel down. In fact, I might as well lie down. Actually, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. It's just that. What is the use of all this wealth if people cannot benefit from it? People desire to have money to be useful to their environment. But look at me. I have made money, it is true. But it is at the expense of my soul. Oh God, you and you alone can save my soul. Have mercy on me, God. It was all a mistake. It was all a mistake. Hello? It's alright. Okay, are the travel papers ready? It's alright. Come and pick me up in the morning at 6 for the airport. Thank you very much. Look, Bayer, we are fast losing time on this case. Because the rate at which that girl's system are deteriorating each day is alarming. You said your uncle promised to be here, and it's past midday. He's not here. So, what's going on? I don't know, Doc. He promised me that he will be here with the money. I believe you, man. But the issue is, there comes a time after which even if the money is doubled, cannot solve the problem. Cannot solve the problem. Your daughter's life is truly at stake and you know it. Okay, Doctor. Let me go see him. I'll be right back. <laughs> Leukemia is a very deadly ailment. And if your daughter's kind transits from the subacute to acute I reject it. It will never happen. I reject it. Better hurry, man. not fine auntie she's not fine at all the other day i saw your wife and she told me nena had just malaria is it serious now it's worse than serious now nena is, is dying god for right. it it's very bad um where is uncle is he still upstairs no he has left this morning his car is still parked outside oh yes actually he didn't travel by road um just us dropped him at the airport and came back. I see. Is there any problem? Where, where did he go to? Rome. He had to go to Rome this morning to attend the burial of the Pope. Pope! Is there any problem? What is it? Auntie, Nenna is dying. Is she has leukemia. The doctor called it so acute. And he says that if we don't raise money quickly, I'm afraid we'll lose her. 
We will not lose her in Jesus' name. Ah. You're not. Uh, does Chief know about this? He knows. I was here twice yesterday. <laughs> yes, I told him everything. He, he told me to go back and that today he will meet me in the hospital with money. Only for him to abandon us and travel to Rome to go and bury Pope. Pope, Pope that has fulfilled, lived a fulfilled life. Pope that has no problem. He left mm. us here. Ben, it's okay. It's okay. This is not a time to share tears, okay? You know what we're going to do? We'll go to the hospital. Let me see the doctor, okay? Come, let's go. Come, 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 come. Let's go. Pope that. Pope that has a good man. I have told you, the poor girl is suffering from a subacute leukemia, which is very dangerous and deadly. And we can't keep administering drugs to her. She requires a surgery, which we call a homotous surgery. And that has to be done very fast. And that will cost about 700 to 750,000 naira. And this hospital requires a minimum deposit of 400,000 naira before we can commence the operation. So if the money is ready, madam, there's no point wasting time. The girl condition is running out very fast. Well, um, doctor, my husband is not around now. As we speak, he's abroad. But, but there's no problem. He will pay when he comes back. Money will never be a problem. Madam, money is actually the problem here. Remember, this hospital is a private hospital with no governmental support. And there's a particular equipment we need to get online. And it needs money, okay? Money has to be put down before this equipment can be released. Hope you understand. I, I do, I do. Okay, I am going to make a deposit of 250,000 Naira. Don't worry, my husband will make it up when he comes. Madam, that amount cannot even cover for the equipment. How much more, you know, committing my assisting personnel, cash wise? Doctor, please, let us just do all we can to help this little child. Madam, please. I can't commence the operation with that amount. Besides, this is not the first time we've heard about this your husband will pay slugger. The gynecology unit of this hospital still demands that they owed her when this same child's mother had a miscarriage. All for the same my husband will pay slugger. And the least thing to do was to call and he didn't do it. So I'm sorry. He said he paid the money, we commenced the operation and we forget it. And I warn you, the child's condition is running out very, very fast. Excuse me. I'm just a doctor. Help. Help me. Help me. Ben, I have helped you enough. You have to help yourself. Look at your daughter. She's fast running out. Get money and save her life. That's the only way out. No money, no operation. Is there anybody else we can talk to? Anybody to help? Auntie, he has spent all his money. We have even sold our valuables, but it's not getting us anywhere. It's not helping us at all. Auntie, please, if there's anything you can do to help us, anything at all, Auntie, I'll do anything for that help. Mabel, Mabel. 
I would have loved to. You know, what is 400,000? I would have brought everything, but I, I, I invested a lot recently. I wish, I wish I could raise the whole lot. Oh God. Well, are you sure there's nobody else we can talk to? Think, please, think. hospital. She's really in critical condition. The doctor says she suffers from leukemia and we require about 750,000 naira for them to start work treatment and I don't have it. No, no. Seven hundred and fifty thousand. Yes. Is that why you're being tormented like this? I don't have it. Have you ever bothered to ask Snoop how much you're paying for salary? Sam, I'm sorry, Obeleze, that's one problem with you. You you hardly feel for people. Okay, you you okay, okay, come on. Then I know you love your daughter. Oh, of course, I love my daughter so much. <laughs> okay, okay, um, Snoop. Yes, Don. Get me a wrap. All right, Don. But I don't know, you said you don't want anything to drink? No, I, I said I'm okay. I, I'm all right. I, I don't want to drink anything. Well, you know, uh, it's, it's actually been a long time. Let me have a This is ten thousand dollars. You know, I know it's more than what you required actually, but um I can still give you more. But the problem is uh Ben, you know if if I give you this money now, I'm sure it's gonna solve your present problem. But what happens if tomorrow, you know, if another problem turns up? This is the biggest problem that can come to anybody. So help me solve this one. Then forget about me forever. That is where you're wrong. That is where you're wrong, Ben. You know one thing. You know, I I I actually hate giving people fish. Because uh, I think I prefer to teach people how to fish 
you know, it's, it's better in your life. Let me ask you. chastised I see poverty I see disappointment all over you but now you have come here everything will be the reverse you will experience luck Abundance, riches, affluence, and power. anything, sir. It's because your eyes are closed. But here, your eyes will be open and you will see.
Cut your left thumb with that knife. Huh? Cut your left thumb with that knife. the souls and skulls of riches. You have now made a covenant with the great owl. You will now experience riches, luck, abundance, wealth, and power.
know, it was never really my intention to do what I did. So tell me the truth. What I've done, has it hurt anybody in any way? Huh? <laughs> tell me, please. I'm, I'm, I'm worried. Snoop. Yes, yeah, done. Go get him some words and let him get out of here. Obele, Obele, see. If I, if I could, I would have denounced our friendship right here and now. But I, I can't. You're laughing. Go ahead and laugh. Go ahead and laugh. But, but you know what I'm saying is true. I mean, I don't understand what I'm. Obele, 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 wait. What, Obele, see, what, tell me, what I've done, has it hurt anybody? Obele, Chelo, Ebu Mado. Exactly the equivalence of what you wanted to charge. I didn't have time to go and change it to Naira. All right. <coughs> so, shall we go to the theater? Please sit down. Huh? I took a seat, please. Well, uh, Mr. Igbenwa, at this point in time, I want you to be a man. I want you to pull yourself together. Okay. Doctor. How is my daughter? You see, we tried our best. We tried our utmost best. But I'm, I'm really sorry we lost you. What? You need to calm down. See, we, we, we tried everything we could believe in. Doctor, you tell me it's not true. See, we Doctor, oh God! Mr. Ibama! Mr. Ibama! Mr. Ibama! Mr. Ibama! What have I done? What have I done? I... I killed... I killed her. I killed my daughter. Why? Why? God, why? No. No. Oh, no. Hmm. Samson. Obele. Obeleze. Okay. No. Repeat, yeah, yeah. Obeleze. No. You sent for me. Yeah, I did. You know, I actually sent for you. Because the brotherhood thinks that they've given you enough time you know considering the death of your daughter and they say 
it is time for you to come to the temple and then formally meet with the apostles. Is that all? That's all. Okay, we couldn't go even. So this is why you sent for me. Mm -hmm. I will go. Samson, you and that your so-called brotherhood are nothing but a bunch of irresponsible, wicked, and devilish human beings who lack human sympathy. I lost my daughter. How long ago was that? Barely two weeks. And you call me here to tell me that your blood-sucking brotherhood wants me to come to your temple for I don't know what. You people are wicked. You people are evil. You people are demonic. If I get one more summon from either you or any other member of that your blood-sucking brotherhood, I will not only tell the whole world what you do, but I will make sure that I disgrace all of you one by one. Mark my word. Do so chiebu. Ben. It is not your decision. It is the decision of the brotherhood. And Ben. You must comply with it. Good night, man. One 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 Temple of Ozubuzuku. Apostles of this venerable temple of the Owl, I want to welcome you here once again. And I wish to inform you that our number has increased by one. Apostle Samson, do you have your friend here with you? No. Venerable one, he has not surfaced at the moment. Is this a kind of rebellion? No, Venerable One. He's just indisposed at the moment. But he will definitely be with us at the next assembly. Good. Senior Apostle Dennis. Senior Apostle Festus. Senior Apostle Harry, Venerable One, it is time for the owl to get her sacrifice. Ali! Ali! Ah, Kalusia! The dawn! Oh, Chin! Oh, Beleza, no way. The dawn. You know, eh, that's a proverb in Igbo land. It goes like this. It says, there is no too much talk in an evening church. Definitely. But for God, you see, let me go straight to the point. I summoned the both of you here for all time's sake. Benjamin. Benjamin has sowed a seed 
but um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but now he's proven stubborn because he has refused to come for the presentations, and you know the consequences. Mm-hmm. I can't say. Obele, ah, Kalosia. Ochendo, ah, Kalosia. That is me. You see, both of you know that I know Ben more than you do. Going back to the days we spent together at the seaport. Those very funny and bad old days. No, it is not funny. But you see, the Ben that I know is a very pretty stubborn man when it comes to issues like this. Akalosia, are you trying to tell me? No, are you trying to tell the both of us that you are now more familiar with Ben? More than us that actually attended the same primary school, grew up in the same kindred with him. See, 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 Obele, you don't have to bother yourself. You know Akalosia now. <laughs> Akalosia can be very possessive. He's smart. <laughs> can you imagine? But I think that notwithstanding, uh, I think he has made a point now. Uh-huh. Because, you see, the bear you and I know. A very stubborn man. Very stubborn man indeed. So and you know he can be very stiff. I mean, headstrong to a far extent. You have to do something. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So, what what do you suggest that I do? No, 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 no. What are we going to do? Because it involves all of us. I think there's no other thing to do but to play it cool for a start. You are suggesting that we play it cool for a start. What happens if, according to what the two of you are saying concerning his stubbornness, if he refuses to succumb? Ben cannot try it. Listen, (laughs) Obele, you don't inform an English man with Igbo. It is Babu and Otter. That will mean drawing the tail of a baby lion. Uh-huh. If that's where well, well, it's left for him, he's not going to listen. Ha! He will have to face the music. Well, definitely. There's no two ways. I have to say this to clear my conscience. Anyway, I suppose that was here. You, you guys have the best of friends now, huh? isn't it? Don't worry. Leave Ben to me. Uh, uh, you leave? Talk to him. Talk to him. Have you forgotten that I'm at Lucian War? You mean he banged the phone on you? No, it's a lie. Are you serious? Eh? Hey? You? Do you know what I think? I think you should not call him anymore. Forget about him. You see, one hundred thousand dollars is big money for him, and that is why I feel he's going to call you back. Just leave him alone. Don't bother to call him because if you call him, you'll be making his head swollen, and you'll be feeling unnecessarily important. Forget him. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Have you forgotten why they call me Akalusia? Me. Akalusia Ngen. Ekulunge Nengo. Aha. <laughs> nah, I'll call you back. Eh? Thank you. Later. Akalusia One. Oh no. Akalusia One. Oh no. What happened on Uzo? Why are you calling me Akalusia Uzo? Come on. Are you no longer an Igbo man? Hmm? It simply means your wealth is still on its way. And when the world finally gets home, do you know what we'll be calling you? Oh no! I could know. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
save that one for the other. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it will happen soon. I can say You know, you have added something else to your ingenuity, <laughs> and that is humor. <laughs> uh, ben, what shall I offer you? Uh, no, 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 no. I don't want anything. Are you serious? I'm okay. 50-50. Good. Now, um, without wasting time, let me tell you why I called you here. Okay. See, Ben, um, I know what you've gone through and what you're still going through. Mm. I'm aware. But you see, there are times that we make mistakes that we might not have the opportunity to correct them or even redeem them. But I believe that no matter the predicament you face, there's always a solution. Whatever problems you are facing right now, Ben, I want you to know that they are not insurmountable. There is a possibility. If only and only you want the problem solved. Akalosia, how can you be asking me whether I want to come out of my present terrible situation? You and I go back a long way. Right from our days at the business of spare parts to our days at the wharf and even beyond. I have suffered. I have seen terrible situations due to poverty. And thanks to my uncle, Chief Dennis Igbenwa, thanks to him and poverty, I've equally lost my daughter. So, why are you asking me if I want to come out of this situation? Um, ben, you still haven't told me anything. But concerning your uncle uh, and his um, stinginess and strictness towards you, I want you to know that there are two sides to a coin. And it is that side of that coin which has stripped him of every iota of human kindness that I'm yet to find out. Check this. Here is a man who called me out of the village and gave me the first foundation to begin with. And now suddenly things are blossoming well for him and he doesn't even look my way at all. Why? Why? Akalosia, why? Look, Ben, you will have to forget about your uncle. You need to start your own life. I must you depend on him? No, I must not. Good. Now you're talking. Um, there's something I'm wanting to tell you. It's just that um, I felt I should sample your opinion first. Actually, um, I have some business partners that have asked me to bring a person that I can trust to join us in our line of businesses. I don't know what you think. When can I meet them? Where? Are you ready? Am I ready? I'm more than ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Fine. Then let me arrange a meeting immediately. Uh, see, I can't say. Mm -hmm. Tell them about me. You know me very well. Tell them I'm ready. Tell them I'm ready. Tell them I'm trustworthy. Tell them I'm hardworking. It's okay. Let me, I will arrange for a meeting immediately. Just hold on. Hello. Hey, that's my friend. Open the door. I can see you. Open it. I can see you. Come on. 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 Harry, mm -hmm. these are your so-called business associates, eh? Ben, sit down. No, 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 no. I won't sit. And you listen to me. Ben. Eh? You are not going to start your you are dramatizing, are you? What will happen if I do? Then of course you know I won't let you do that. Come and sit down and listen to your friends. Friends? Did you say friends? Okay. 
I renounce my friendship to each and every one of you right now. Is that clear? Ben. Ben or whatever they call you. Listen. We are not here to beg you. Eh. Yes. So why did you bring me here? Tell me, why did you lure me here? To bundle me into your satanic temple? Or worse to force me to become a member of your blood sucking fraternity? Which one? Ben. None of the above. Sit down. We have good news for you. So which one is it? Vampire Samson. Ben. We only invited you here to warn you. Also to make you to understand that nobody plays dirty with this brotherhood. Who are the brotherhood? Who the hell do you think you are? We are the grandmasters. The venerable apostles of the great owl. Then sit down. Let us give you good news. Listen to me, Ben. Listen and listen God. You cannot eat your cake and have it. Yeah. This is the end of our lineage with you. Listen. If the mouse, if the mouse, they pass into the bag of the nasty doctor, he does not need to tell the story. Is that clear? Yeah, Ben. You have entered into covenant with the owl. And for this, you lost your precious daughter. Think, my friend. Think. You have nothing more to lose. You have nothing more to lose. Sit down and let us explain for that. Ben! 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 Do you understand what you're doing? Now, I can say. Do you see? Do you see? Do you understand this? Now, do you see? The way it's supposed to end up. You see? Ben! Ben, I'm talking to you. What is it? I should be asking you that. Asking me what? In the past few days, you've been sitting out here all alone. What is the problem? So, I am no longer in a position to sit wherever I want, at any point in time when I want? You know that is not what I'm talking about. Whatever the problem is, we can share it together. Okay. You want to know what the problem is? Fine. I am relaxing. Okay? I'm simply relaxing. So, why don't you let me be? Relaxing? Here and in this mood? You know what your problem is, Mabel? Busy body. That's what you do. You can't simply do something without poking your nose into people's affairs. I said I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm relaxing. Let me be! Hey, hey, hey. Please. Don't pour your frustrations out on me. Mabel. Mabel, are you out of it? Come back here! I said, come back here, maybe. Me, frustrated? Okay, I will show you what frustration is all about. Senior Apostle Festus, make your sacrifice.
There's an envelope uh, on top of the table in the sitting room. Please get it for me. Apostle Samson. Yes, Honorable One. Do you now have your friend with you? No. This is rebellion. Who is disgusted? The pride of the great owl has been insulted. And whoever is responsible must pay for it. Your friend or your riches in three months. Your friend or your riches in three months. Venerable one, I choose to lose my riches in three months. Venerable apostles, your consent. Good. Apostles, any comment? Yes, speak. Venerable one, senior apostles, fellow apostles of the great hour, I ask for the help of hour to enable me to secure the release of my impounded consignment worth over 100 million naira that I seek from the owl. And I vow before this great temple of the owl. Hold your promise. In fact, your problem is with the great owl. You are required to revoke the soul and the skull of your riches. Venerable one, I don't understand. From now, you are required to suck the breast of a maiden not older than 10, starting from next Thursday, which is the last Thursday in every other month. Therein lies the soul and the skull of your riches. Ali! Ali! No, it cannot happen. Not anymore. Not anymore. Hello, doctor. Yes, it's me. It's me. Please send an ambulance to my house. There's an emergency now. Jesus, I... Holy Gabriel, I think you should be telling me what to do with my temper. Because this is going to be the last time I'm going to talk to you about this. I gave away three months. I do not intend to lose more. 
So, it's either you're ready to comply with the covenant or be ready for death. It's a lie. Something is a lie. Blood of Jesus. You can't kill me. In fact, you and your gang of blood suckers can never do anything to me. I know the God I serve. As far as I'm concerned, my, I know the God I serve. And my God will always... In fact, I, I, I don't even think that... What is the matter? Who are you talking to? Didn't you see him? Him? Who? You didn't see him. Out there.
What's going on? Why has she been included in your list of possible victims? You should what? You heard me! You bloody ritualist! I beg your pardon, oh. Mabel. You think... Did you think that I would not eventually find out? <laughs> your ploy has been thrown open and there is nothing left for you to hide. Your partners were here. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about! So stop pretending. Your partner Obene was here. And he said that I should tell you that the covenant you had with them must be kept. Obele was here? Yes! Now I know. Now I know why you were screaming to yourself the other day. And possibly, Benjamin, you might have used our daughter for the sacrifice. Benjamin, did you or did you not use our daughter for the sacrifice? I don't know what you're talking about. I never used anybody for any ritual. If I did any ritual, would I still remain poor like this? How can you say that? Oh. I don't know what you're... What is the meaning of all this? You don't know what I'm talking about. Of course I don't know. Okay. You don't know what I'm talking about. Don't worry. Very soon you will know exactly what I'm talking about. But for the meantime, I am leaving this cost house where people pop up from, from nowhere. And I will not step foot into this house until you repent of your evil ways. Ritual. Don't go. I mean... Virtually everybody has deserted me. If you leave me now, I'll be alone. Mabel, you know I care for you. You are the only one I have. <laughs> wait, wait. I am the only one you have left. Yes. Or... Did you want to say I am the only one you have left for the next sacrifice? Oh, Mabel, how can you say that? Benjamin! Benjamin! Leave if you want me back, then change your ways. Don't touch me! Just don't touch me! Please. Hey, hey, hey! Come. I don't want to fight up with you. Just leave me alone. Get appointment. Your girl knows how they come. Open gate. I cannot open the gate without his permission. Which gate permission? Well, not be, not be your work without open gate. I can't open the gate without my your girl's permission. Go, go, go. What is that? I go sack you. I go, I go sack you. What is your name? My name is not John. John, your girl knows me. Open this gate. I cannot open the gate. I'm telling you to open the John. gate, your girl. Sir.
I'm in. I have made up my mind. Right decision. And right time too. Get into the car. Let's go. of the hour, we have with us today a new member, an infant apostle, Benjamin. Infant apostle? Yes, venerable one. Do you wish to have long life added to the riches the great hour would give you? Yes, venerable one, I do. Then decide on which to offer the potency of your manhood or any of your children it desires at any time and in any number. Right. Infant Apostle, decide! Uh, uh, I, I, I choose to give up my, my manhood. time for the covenant with all the members of this great fraternity. Infant Apostle, yes, step forward.
speak only when you are authorized to do so. between you and your husband. All you do every day is reading the Bible and praying. Mama, I'll tell you in due time. That is what you keep on telling me. Some women have lost their matrimonial homes to gold diggers. My daughter, a good man like Ben is not easy to come by. I will want you to go back to your husband's home. Don't forget that if any woman should walk into his house now and find him alone, you know the result. There is an adage that says, the idle mind is the devil's workshop. Please, my dear, make up your mind and go back home. Don't ever underestimate the wisdom of a good mother. Mama, I've heard you. Then, my dear, go back to his house before your act will cause you the entire regret of your life. Mama, that is what might happen if I too go back there. The regrets of my entire life. <sighs> anyway, I am going down to the shop now. For days now, my daughter, you have not been eating. What is the problem? I will not want you to harm yourself. Don't forget that you are my only child. Please, my dear, make sure that immediately I leave for the shop that you find something to eat. The Lord is never asleep. He has plans for us. He will surely find a solution to these problems. Hmm? Did you hear me, my dear? Please, my love. You know how much I love you. <laughs> Make sure that you eat something and take very good care of yourself till I come back, eh? So, I'll see you when I come back, eh? Bye-bye, my dear. Go oh, well. Thank you, my love. <laughs> Please. Thank you very much. The other day I was just uh, talking with uh, Brother James. I, have, I was telling him I had not seen uh, Brother Ben for some time. How is he? Is he okay? Yes. He's okay. Physically. 
but uh, he can't say the same spiritually. How? How do you mean? Um, Pastor, I'm holding my peace for now. Sister Mabel, I am your pastor, and it is my responsibility to watch over you spiritually. If there is any problem, you can share it with me, and we'll pray about it together. In recent times, in my prayer closet, I see this dark veil hovering around your household. It's a veil of darkness. And that was why I sent for you, because there is a need for you and your husband to go through a deliverance session. Okay, Pastor. But, um... I'd like to go through this um, deliverance session alone, if you don't mind. Sister Mabel, it is your household that we're talking about. I am hoping that your husband will be able to make her time out of his busy schedules. It's very important. I understand, Pastor. But I'd still like to go for this deliverance alone. Okay, Sister Mabel, if you want to stand proxy for your household, that will be okay. We'll have to start off with um, a session of fasting and praying. We'll start tomorrow. I sense an urgency in my spirit. Okay, we'll start tomorrow. Okay. So, one of the things I learned you started a little business some time ago. And uh, how is it going? What I am ready to do anything, any sacrifice just to redeem my life. Apostle Chidi, the venerable one, you have only two days to live. Just two days. You see, the venerable one, is there no alternative? You know I have been a loyal servant to the owl. It, it, it's too short. How, how do I start? Apostle Chidi, you have vowed to consent to any time the great owl wants to take you. The time is here. Two days. Just two days. I mean, how did Tamu not tell you that it happened? I'm talking to you, my friend. He didn't tell me anything, sir. He didn't tell you anything. I mean, this is, this is not acceptable. I mean, this is totally unacceptable. This is bullshit. How can they just say that my goods are missing like that? My friend, would you get that phone for me? Ochendo, what is going on? Uh, Ochendo, I said, what is going on? I'm losing everything. 18 million naira worth of goods belonging to me. I'm missing in the world right now. In our own world. No, 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 you listen to me. I won't listen to you after all. You are among those who sweet talked me into being in this, in, this, in this shady business. So you listen to me. First, my cars were seized in Dubai. Choice cars, exotic cars, and those cars, the money run into millions. So, listen, I won't listen to you. 
Now, 80 million naira, 80 million naira worth of goods are missing at the port. I mean, you want me to listen to you? What? You are dying in two days' time. Wait. Did you have an accident? All right. Have you contracted AIDS? What? Hey. <laughs> One 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 I mean, I simply don't understand that crap. I mean, it doesn't make sense to me. You call it crap? Oh, of course, that's what it is. Uh, check this. How can a young man full of life wake up in the morning and all he's telling people is that he's going to die in the next one day or two? Doesn't make sense at all. Obele, wait, 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 wait. Is that also part of what one expects when one joins your brotherhood? Thank you. Hmm. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. Snoop, get us two glasses of wine. What do you the way Ochendo was sounding on the phone, he was sounding really desperate. Anyway. that his potency and his children will be for him. Right now as we speak, his family, they are in London and they are happy. So, it doesn't make any difference. So, he is really going to die in two days time. Look, it. Hmm? it is one of those things. Right. I think right now we should be concentrated, concentrating on your problems. We're going to see the Guru, so that he will show you where the score and the soul of your riches lies. So that you can pick them up. And value. Maybe if they go. You understand? Because that's the major thing. Having the money and being able to grab it. Keeping it. If I need my Belgalaya. How about I believe you? Also go bim. There yeah. And that is not our portion. One ticky, one ticky, one less. Zanella, Zanella. One second, one second, one minute. Uche! Uche! Yes, brother. 
What's your so problem now? I, I was Every time if they call you, instead of you to answer first, you want to come close before you answer. Sorry. Take these files. You will see names written on those files. Huh? Okay. Tomorrow, make sure that everybody whose name is written on each file gets the file. I hope you're hearing what I'm saying. No, not tomorrow. You go and do what you want to do. Whether I'm around or not, no matter what happens, whether good or bad, they must get these files tomorrow. That's what you're supposed to do tomorrow morning. Eh? I hope you're hearing me. It's not no problem. After you go and do what you want to do. I understand. Go to my room. Hmm? On top of my fridge. There's another file there. Let's bring that one to me to forward. Hello. Who is this? Douglas. Hey. Douglas, how are you? How are you? Uh, don't worry about me. I said, don't worry about me. Oh, the money has arrived. <laughs> How much? $250,000. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Um, now, listen to me. Hmm? Just take all the money. You know, I promised you I was going to arrange you. I, I, I know it's 30 million naira or there, but I said, go ahead and take the money. Spend it. Yes, goodbye forever. Stop asking me why I'm sounding this way. I am telling you to take the money and you're asking me, okay, don't you want the money? Ah, then take it. Uh, yes, enjoy. Just take the whole money. Huh? Oh. Okay, you want to come and see me? Ah. Okay now. If you come anytime, whether you see me or not, all I know is that I've asked you to take the money. Ah, bye bye. Let's do whatever you like, but take the money. That's what I've just said. Uh -huh. Bye. Bye. Can you imagine? Spoma, tell, I'm telling you to take the money and you're asking me, me. What is me? Rubbish. <coughs> Uncle, it's me, Chili. Uncle, please, I want you to come to my house now. Uh, I want you to come now. Listen, Uncle, things are spoiling. Uncle, listen, things are spoiling. Forget the way I'm sounding. I'm just telling you to come over. Listen, yes, in an hour's time, we'll be fine. Just make sure you're here. Uncle, if you don't come, you might not see me. It's not about traveling. I'm just telling you, just come. Come, I'm waiting for you. Okay, okay, bye.
Brother? I brought the file. There it is. As you said, I saw it on the fridge. Brother? 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 Yeah. Brother? Hey! Brother? Brother? No, please don't do this, brother! Hey! Hey! Brother? Somebody help! Help! Hey! of your riches will be found in the fresh semen of a young boy. Fresh semen. Every three months. Fresh semen. Every three months. Join the great master, the owl. <laughs> and so shall all of us when we die. It is only the body that we shall cut, and the master will be with us in body and in soul. Very invisible, but persistently and consistently perceivable. What is expected of me now? Homosexuality? No, come on, man. That's nasty. That's that's crude. It's even unlawful, so I can't do it. By the rules, man. Play by oh, come on, man. I can't play by such rules. It's nasty. Don't you get it? Relax. Relax? Relax. You don't kiss you, you you're even lucky. <laughs> Emma, because at the beginning of every year, I must sleep with a bad woman. But not, you're not serious. It will go every year. What? That's 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 terrible. That's despicably on. What did you? This is madness! Oh, Ben. I'm going to I'm going to The first thing you can do for me now is tell your driver to drive straight to my house. Let me go and rest. I need to rest. At least I can get rest. <laughs> Wherever our channel is right now, you cannot get such a thing. Let's leave your channel out of this. Sorry, I've not been able to see you since you left your matrimonial home. But I actually do not know your family house. It's okay. Vivian! Bring something for her to drink. So, how are you? How are your parents? I hope you've been praying. <laughs> Thank you. 
so I can't take anything now. You're in my house, remember? I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I just can't take anything now. Oh, if you say so, no problem. It's okay, no problem. So, I've been wanting to talk to you about going back to your husband. You see, my dear, men must always be men. As wives, we have to learn to tolerate their excesses. Okay? Um, on the contrary, Sister Gloria, I am not here to talk about my husband. I am here to talk about yours. My husband? What about my husband? Um, Sister Gloria, I am telling you that I saw the both of them. Is that enough reason for you to accuse him of being a cult member? Just because of a funny dream? Listen, Mabel, I know how you feel. But that does not give you the right to accuse anybody unjustly. If there is anybody to suspect, it is your husband and his sudden wealth. And not my husband who has been working all his life. Listen, Mabel, I know my husband. He does not hide anything from me. Sister Gloria, that was what I thought about my husband until it happened to me. Well, that was your husband. Mine is different. No wonder you refuse to drink in my house. Sister, you have to listen to me. No, you listen to me, Mabel. You cannot just walk into my house and try to disrupt the peace and harmony in my household. Just because yours is destabilized. You don't do that. Sister Gloria! Don't sister me. Don't. I wouldn't want to bother you with um, cheap gossips. I know you must be tired. Let's go upstairs and have a what bath together. What did she tell you? Oh, oh, well, um, if it's important, I'll tell you. She must have come here to ask you for money, I presume. But if that's why she was here, she had better go look for her worthless husband and demand money from him. I don't want any home wreckers coming into this place to inject bad luck into this family. We had your two superstitions. Guess what? I made your favorite soup. Can we go upstairs and have our bath together now? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let him come in. Okay. Don't eat it. Let him sing, Kako. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. 
You get yourself one soon. Oh, I beg, I beg. Let's talk about business first. Although I intend to adopt two children from the orphanage very soon. Very good. It is good. It's good, but my business is bad. Really bad. I don't know why. Ah. Yes. Why not ask the owl? I have already asked the owl. He gave me instructions on what to do. I have carried out the instruction to the letter, in spite of the fact that what he told me to do is quite despicable and repugnant to my person. Yet, instead of my business gear moving forward, it is now on the reverse. Why? This is what I want to know. Um, ben, I still think something is wrong somewhere. Mm. Mm. That's why I would advise that you go back to the Guru again. You think so? Go back to the Guru. That should be the case. Well, if it's that simple, that means life is still beautiful. Life is beautiful! <laughs> <laughs> what are they saying about Ochindo's burial tomorrow? Oh, we're all going. We are? Of course! We have to! <laughs> Yes. No, no. <laughs> yes, we have to go there and spray money. Mm -hmm. Show the world how to spend good money. I will spray American dollars. What are you going to spray? You should know now. I am going to spend and spray Mama Charlie head. <laughs> <laughs> and you know that is Pam Stalin. <laughs> no, Charlie. <laughs> now wait, let me quickly shut down. Uh, <laughs> uh, life is beautiful. All that. Audio. So, Ochendo is no more. Oche, my man, my main man is no more. Hi! Oh, oh. What a tragic way to end a life happily spent. Akalosia, there is no happiness in a life so shortly lived. None whatsoever. Ochendo made his choice and all went for him. Well? Obele, you're not saying anything. Odekwamma. Is everything all right? We all live to die. It will come to your turn. Look, this is time for celebration. One not chicken, one chicken, one when a man dies, you celebrate. Well, life must go on. Snoop, get us one, one bottle of wine. And then, as soon as you're done with that, you pass it for soup. Life goes on. Oh, yes. And life is for the living. Ordinary Ponson. Life is beautiful.
and work out. You know, God said, mm. how do you do? Fine, Dad. Mm. That way you're coming from, you look awful in this dress. Well, it's all right. I'm coming from a function, and by the way, I think I like the dress. <laughs> no, you don't. Who's that shit? Uh -huh. I did it, Venerable One. I did as you directed me. And your problems still persisted? It even doubled. That's why I'm here. Hmm. You got it wrong. I did? Uh, venerable One, I, I got the sperm as you told me to do. And I took it just as directed. You don't take it. You suck it. You suck it and swallow it. In two days, Apostle Ben. In two days. Two days? Mm. Two days. All right, Venerable One, I, I will do as you have instructed me. Declined, sir. He declined? Yes, sir. I thought you said he's gay. He, he is, but I, I don't just understand what happened to him. Sir. Don't give me that I don't understand what happened. Stop. I need a gay. Okay? So, George, I trust you to get me somebody right away. Okay? Please jump to it. Okay, sir. Listen, I have just two days to do this whole stuff. Okay, I've lost a lot of money and I'm not willing to lose any more money. So jump to it and get me somebody right away. No problems. There'll be problem if you don't come back with anybody. You hear me, George? There'll be serious problem if you don't come back with somebody. see some of my guys and then go to Uncle Ben's place. God said I'm so busy right now. Um, I'm not in the mood for that, okay? Look, Quincy, when we came back, you promised me that we we're going to go to all those places. These guys just came back. You know, we could go out, you know, there might even be a party this evening, go to some hangouts and then finally, you know, just paint the town red generally. Paint the town red? Yeah. With who? Me and my family, boss. <laughs> Come on, girlfriend. You're still a teenager, okay? So if I must go out with anybody, definitely not with you. Uh, look, cut yourself some slack, big bro. You've been holed up in this house, reading books. I don't know. Are you trying to blow your mind or something? Just give yourself a break, okay? Come on, girlfriend. Don't you get it? I'm not going. If you want to go to Uncle Ben's place or paint the town red, whatever you call it, you can go. What is going on here? He said he doesn't want to go out with me. Ah, why? Mom, I told Garson that I'm going nowhere. He's still a teenager, Mom. Please. If I must go out, definitely not with him. I got my own guys, Mom. Please, please, please. Anyway, where are you off to? Well, 
I want to go see some of my guys and then end up at Uncle Ben's place. Oh, send me well to your Uncle Ben, okay? I'll do that. Okay. And you be careful. I will, Mom. Send me well to Uncle Ben as well. Look, you go tell him yourself, okay? Because I'm doing that for you. And be careful. Don't stick too close to those girls. Look, I heard that before, okay? I'm a grown man. Look, <laughs> man, you're <laughs> Bye, bye, bye. Get out. <laughs> Chairman, sir. Who is that? It's me, sir. George? Yes, sir. Yes. Chairman, sir, there's this, there's this nephew of yours that said he wants to see you. He said he's a uh, chief. Uh, it means one son that his name is Godson, sir. Godson, Benoit. That stupid man's son. What is he doing here? Why did you bring him here? God tell him that I don't, I don't want to see him. But, 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 So, what's happening to you? Uncle, I'm fine. Okay. You have a very beautiful place here. Oh, thank you. You know, life is beautiful. You know, life is really beautiful. <laughs> so, how about your brother, Quincy? I told him to come here with me, but he refused. You know Quincy and his books. Yeah, that's Quincy for you. Well, it's all right having you here. You know, I mean, you should be coming here more often. I'll try. Now, now that I'm around, I'll try. Enjoy yourself, okay? Make yourself comfortable. I was doing something upstairs when I, I was told that you were out. So just um, feel free. I'll see you enjoy. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome.
George. George! Yes, sir. Sir. Come here. Take him upstairs. Chief Davis, you made me suffer. You made me go through a lot of pains. You make me feel less than human. Now it's payback time. And by the time I finish with your son, you will realize that if one takes one's time, you can take revenge on even the most powerful. This is just the beginning. You talk to me from there. Now, can't get that. Let him. Yeah. Let him. Um, it's all right. 
George, allow him to come in. Okay, sir. Next time I come in here and you try to stop me, I'll deal with you. Chief, Chief. Chief himself. You're welcome. What do I offer you? Uh, already, um, we are drinking brandy. Uh, what? Um, uh, George, go to my bedroom, the fridge in my bedroom. Get one of those bottles of expensive wine. That one. Okay. Get one of them for chief. Benjamin, do I look to you as if I'm joking? Well, it, it, it's very hard to tell when old people like you are joking. In fact, most times they look funny to me. <laughs> chief, please, don't mind him. Please, do sit down, chief. Benjamin, what did you do to my son? You know, Chief, life is always beautiful. You heard my question. I demand an answer. What did you do with my son? Chief, I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about, Benjamin. You do. I said, what did you do with my son? Chief, please, calm down. I demand an answer. You will get the answer. What are you doing to me now? Gagese. Zanyan. All right. Okay. Well, Chief, I did to your son what you do to other people's sons and daughters. That's what I did to your son, God. Benjamin, you used my son for ritual purposes. You used God's sin, my only bright son, for ritual purposes. All right. You are trying to play the devil incarnate. Now wait for the devil himself. This is a challenge. I accept it. <laughs> Chief! Chief! This is only the beginning! <laughs> Besides the Lord, the doctors cannot 
is. He looks at you. He's not seeing you. He's staring at you. He's gaping at you. He's gawking at you with spittle dribbling from his mouth. Apostle Ben here, my nephew, has made my son a moron. He cannot think, let alone reason. Why he decided to make my son a vegetable, he alone knows. Why do I deserve this? I have come here, venerable one, to seek redress. Because I know that only the owl can give me the justice that I deserve so richly. Venerable one, he who is my nephew, has decided to destroy my entire life and only you can give me justice. Venerable while here I rest my case. Hmm. Apostle Ben. Venerable one. What do you have to say? Well, Venerable one, to me life is always beautiful, no matter the conditions. That is one fact that I would like Senior Apostle here to understand. You see, in life, certain things are bound to happen. And when those things happen, we as mere mortals do not have the power to alter them. You see, when this brotherhood decided to use human beings for sacrifices and other rituals that we perform, it dawned on me that children of men sons and daughters of people will become the ultimate victim. I would like the senior apostle to accept the fact that what happened was as a direct consequence of his membership to the brotherhood. I have made my point. But please, venerable one, permit me to appeal to my good old uncle because like he rightly pointed out, we are flesh and blood. Let me appeal to my good old uncle, Chief Dennis Anuta Kaleze Ibenwa, to please accept what happened to his son as that act of faith which I was talking about earlier and which we as mere mortals do not possess the authority or power to change. I rest my case. Apostle Ben, since you knew that that boy was Senior Apostle Dennis' son, you should not have used him for your rebirth. You should have found an alternative. However, as it has gone this way, Senior Apostle Dennis, I must say there is just nothing anyone can do about it. Not even the owl. Be that as it may, I wish to stress 
that it is not a good thing for the apostles of the brotherhood to have any dispute because it will always have disastrous consequences for this brotherhood. is my life to me now? How did I get myself into this mess in the first place? How? Ebekwe told me it was a very simple thing. He never told me it was going to be like this. He never told me that he was making demands on me all the time. He never did. I implore you, Lord, Please save my soul, Lord. Please save my soul, Lord. I am lost. You mean that? Hi, Dad. Uh, Quincy, how are you? I'm fine, Dad. Dad, you don't look, you don't look happy. You look worried. Is there anything the matter? No, no, but there's, uh, there's nothing wrong at all. Come on, Dad, I I know you're not happy. You want to talk about it or something? <sighs> well, see if I told you you wouldn't understand. Um, it's got to do with business and... Um, you won't understand. There's no point talking about it. You won't understand. But, but, but Dad, I'm, I'm your son. Yes, I know, but you... You won't understand. You were never a very stubborn boy, so... Uh, I don't want you to press this issue, please. I'm cool, Dad. I... I guess you would like to be left alone. Excuse me, Dad. I just hope to goodness they are not going to ask for this one. Because he is all I have got left. God, what do I do to get out of all this? The other son is as bad as a moron. They can settle for him if they like. The owl. The owl is passionate, they tell me. He's not going to take away my only useful son, I hope. Let him take the imbecile away from me. I can take that. But not... Quincy, he is all I have got left in this world. Good. All right. I just have to go and find out which of them they want. But, oh God, let me keep Quincy. He's the only thing I have got left. Venerable One, 
who has the owl chosen as my next sacrifice? The one that will fall before you shall be sacrificed. Go, senior apostle. The owl shall show you. Thank you. Senior Apostle Dennis, go and do it now. Doctor, I don't, I don't know. He's been vomiting blood. 
when? When did this start? From house. From home. You just yeah. Wait, you wait for us at the reception. Huh? You two, you two wait. Doctor, like, wait, you must get it done, please, for me. Get me an injection. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, one meal. Yes. Fast, please. Um. Yes. Nurse, nurse, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. husband and wife to quarrel mm -hmm. but the abnormal thing is that you have never come to look for your wife since she left your house you don't even show any sign of concern it's unfair oh. why should I look for her why I didn't ask her to leave my house she knows why she left the house so why should I bother myself about where she is uh -huh. My son, Ben, you are not being matured about this. After all, she's your wife. Eh? No matter what has happened, you, you, you must manage with her. Look at me. You look at me. I look at the whole environment here. Does anything here or anything about me suggest to you that I am managing. Oh, <laughs> man, man. Hey, that is not what I mean. Hey, what I am saying is that hey, you must tolerate her. Yes, she's your wife. What do hey? you mean, tolerate her? She has always been the person tolerating him. Uh, uh, huh? Although she refused to tell me what happened, I heard all about it from people outside. Eh? Huh? I heard that while she left Ben's house was that Ben brought in another woman into the house. Eh? It is a terrible yes. thing for a man to do. Which woman would tolerate sh such nonsense? Don't say what you don't know, Mama. Please, don't say what you're not sure of. If you heard anything like that at all, then your daughter is the guilty party in that affair. Uncle, I caught her with another man. Eh? Yes. Hey. I saw them with my two eyes. That's why she left the house. It's a lie. Hey, my daughter will never do such a thing. Uncle, you know me. I mean, you've, you've known me for a long time now. You know how much I love my wife. You know how much I admire her. The only reason why I can allow her to return here is that when I saw her and that man, they weren't really doing anything serious. But their position was quite suggestive. But then, it's neither here nor there. Just relax. Take your friends. Just give me a moment, I'll be with you.
have to bear with me. You know, I have exhausted all the naira that I have in the house. So you have to make do with dollars. I have gift for you, which is a thousand dollars each for you. Life is beautiful. My son, thank you very much. God bless you. It's nothing. Hey, hey. Nothing. Hey, son. Promise me that when your wife comes back, you will not beat her up. Oh, yes. never mind about that. Just tell my wife to come back and enjoy money. Hey, hey. Go, you go. Hey, go. Hey, go. Oh, you go. Oh, you go. Oh, you go. Oh, you go. Go. Hey, hey. Hey. Well, I I have a few things to take care of. Please enjoy your food. I'm sure you can find your way out. Thank you very much. Thank you, my son. Hey, well, darling, my mom. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Thank you, my son. Hey, hey. Mama, good evening. That is all I keep on hearing in this house. Mama, good morning. I am going to the church. Mama, good evening. I am back from the church. Maybe when will I ever hear? Mama, goodbye. I am going back to my husband's house. Mama, I am not going back to that house. Oh. I am not going back to that house. Instead, I will pack my things and go elsewhere instead of going back to that house. And in case you have not decoded what I have been trying to tell you, my husband is a ritualist. And that money he gave you is blood money. It's rubbish. Complete rubbish, do you hear me? I have heard that rumor, and I am surprised that you, Mabel, is also peddling it too. Everybody knows that Ben is a hard-working young man. Hey. Because you think you know him better than I do. Eh? Mabel, I will want you to go back to your husband's house. He has arranged so many things for you. He has bought you new cars, jewelries, clothes. Everything is there waiting for you, my daughter. Eh? Mama, you don't understand. The only thing waiting for me in that house is death. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me tell you. If you don't go back to your husband's house this minute, go in there and pack your bags and leave my house to whatever pleases you. Do you hear me? So, I've said it before and I'll say it again without mincing words. Over my dead body will Ben get that nomination ticket. If there's anything he has given to you to obtain your endorsement, take it back to him. Because I will oppose him every inch of the way and I mean it. Well, in that case, no problem, Chief. 
He just that I thought he could be the most credible candidate for the post. Yes. What makes you think he's the most credible candidate? Have you tried other people? Have you tried other people? I was only thinking. Stop thinking. Listen. Go and tell Ben that the best thing for him to do is to resell that nomination ticket to anybody who cares. Go back home, sit down, and watch events. If he decides to go contrary to my directive, he will regret the day he was born. And listen, I don't mean maybe, I mean every single word I have told you. It's all right, Chief. I'll tell him just that. Good. Very good. Thank you, Chief. All right, Chairman. I tried convincing him, but to not bear. He seems to be bent on his decision. I see. Be that as it may, I hope it doesn't mean that you are no longer giving me your own support, does it? I'm afraid that's what it implies. And that's exactly what the other members of the executive are going to follow. You see, I can buy off all the other candidates so that I will be the sole candidate and be elected unopposed. But you are the party chairman, so you tell me in clear terms in Naira and Kobo how much it will cost me to buy your support and that of all the executive members of our party. You are not very clear with what I'm saying. There is one man that I know, one of the candidates who will not bend down a head, unless your uncle, Chief Dennis Ikbenwa, says so. As regards buying our support, I'm afraid you cannot, because I personally cannot betray Chief Dennis Ikbenwa. Not to think about the other executives who we are nominated himself. All right. So, um, what are my chances? Your chances? Go and mend fences with him. Never. You hear me? Never. I will never mend fences with any Chief Dennis Ikbenwa. I mean, what are you talking about? How do I do that? Tell me. Me? Go beg him? Not on your life. Um, Chairman, listen. You have spoken your mind in this matter. But please, next time, don't even think about asking me to go mend fences with anybody. Least of all, Chief Dennis Benwa, because I won't take that. You understand me? I'll be all. Hello? 
chief, I only called you to warn you to please stop poisoning the minds of the party executives and the electorate against my senatorial ambition. That's why I called you. Are you now ready to disclose your true identity? No, I have not. I'm still warming up. And listen, if you don't stay out of my way, then I'm afraid there's going to be another cry for help in your household. Is that all? Stay away from my campaign and my ambition. Otherwise, you'll be sorry. It's all right, Ben. Let me help you. I'm already standing in your way. And I will oppose you every inch of the way. The idea is not just to block you, Ben. I will push you down. And I will grind you. That's what I intend to do. Thank you.
opulence and wealth spent in decorating this place. You will love it. Welcome. You also need to see the exotic cars in the garage. Incidentally, one of them is yours. You know. Now you see what you've been missing. Look at you. Miserably dressed and looking totally uncared for. But all the same, I'm glad you're here. Stay, because you've now seen all that you're missing. <laughs> On the contrary, you have missed more. All these are vanity upon vanity. Mabel, I see that you have not yet returned to your senses. You seem to have forgotten so soon what pain, suffering, deprivation that poverty put you and I through. So I labored, I worked hard and managed to create this whole wealth. You walk in here and you don't even look happy. What kind of wife are you? Huh? Are you an enemy of progress? Yes. Ben, an enemy of satanic progress. I have come to ask you to repent and give your life back to Christ. Let us go back to the ways of God like old times. The joy we, we, we shared together. If I understand you perfectly well, Mabel, you are asking that we should go back to the days of poverty, the days of hunger, pain and bitterness, because that's all we had. We were suffering. We didn't even know where the next meal was coming from. Oh, I'm through with all that, my dear. Ben, Jesus loves you. He will still forgive you if you decide to repent of your evil. Hey, hey, hey! You stop preaching to me, woman! You either come back here and take your place, your rightful place as my wife, or as I'll marry another. Because as you can see, I have everything. I mean, everything that a man desires to make him happy, except a wife. No! You have everything except Christ. Then we need wealth. Yes, but a righteous wealth, not this. <laughs> righteous wealth in this devil's world? <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> what a great laugh. Mabel, wake up, okay? <laughs> wake up. <laughs> righteous wealth. Ben, my eyes are wide open. Yes or not? Call me when you decide to give your life back to Christ. I'll help lead you to Him. Otherwise. Otherwise what? that I serve gives me now, gives me today, not tomorrow. Which do you prefer? The one that gives with abundant sorrow or the one that gives with abundant joy? Which one? Well, why did he have to take that long? He doesn't take long. We were not patient enough. Remember, he is wise. He knows you before you were even formed in your mother's womb. He knows what is good for you and not what you think is good for you. Now tell me, how can you abandon such a person for a cheat, a thief, and a killer? Think about it. Think about it and give your life back to
Madam, how was the night? So, so. Uh, doctor. Yes, Chief. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. How are you today? Yeah. I want to speak to my wife alone. All right, Chief. It's okay. Yeah. Nurse. Sister. Thank Madam you. Madam, welcome. Um, no, yeah. mm -hmm. Thank you. You know, I, no, yeah. mm -hmm. I have not been in good mind. I, I belong to a car. extend our lives by using other people's blood. Well, I finished killing other people. I turned to my own children. I killed Quincy. For my sake, that God's was rendered useless by Benjamin. Benjamin was retaliating because I did not help him and I allowed his daughter to die. But you see, in the court, you are allowed to make yeah, a lot of money, but your relations will not benefit from it. So that was why I did not do anything for Benjamin and his daughter died. I know Sorry for the life I lived. If you will give me a second opportunity, I will not get into the court again because, you know, it is in the Bible. What will it benefit a man if he gains the whole world and suffers the loss of his own soul? So, I will tell God that if He gives me, uh, I will tell God that uh, I don't, I don't want to go to hell. I, I will tell God that.
It is not a time to weep and it is not a time to mourn. You have to be strong for your children and for yourself. We are not like them that are hopeless. We are hopeful because the Lord is on our side. The Bible says that the Lord will be your strength. He will be your help in the day of trouble. He will see you through. He is well able to see you through whatever situation you are going through in life. And our God will see you through. I know it is not easy. I know that the challenge is great. But the Lord will see you through in Jesus' name. Amen. Sister Ruth. Yes, Pastor. Your brother will be well again. Amen. I am persuaded in my heart that he will be well again. The Lord will restore him. Okay. Thank you, Pastor. I am persuaded. Let us pray. Father, I thank you for this family. I give you praise. And today I pray that the Lord will hear you in the day of trouble. Amen. The name of the God of Jacob will defend thee. Send you help from sanctuary. He will strengthen you out of Zion. He will remember your offerings and he will accept your sacrifices. The Lord will cause his light to rise up upon you and dispel the dark clouds that surround you in the name of Jesus. I never knew you could do that for me after the embarrassment and insults I gave you. I'm really very sorry. May God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. you know, I am very grateful that at least I could be of help to you. Um, sister, when is the pastor coming? All things being equal, he should be on his way to this place. The pastor. No, the cultic members. It is something now. Which people? The cultic members. Cult members? Yes. Here in this house? Yes. I'm going to deal with them. Now, I can. Okay, sister, that you know so. My wife. Let me relax. I'm going to deal with them. There's a toilet there. Let me use my own, please. Angela! Angela! No. What are you still doing there? I thought you want to go and Are you not the one holding the key? Come and open the place for me. But I heard these people are very dangerous. What do we do? Our God is able. Amen. Amen. Hey. Oh, are you scared too? Mba, no. Me? Scared? No. Oh. It's just that I don't have my chaplet. I forgot it at home. So let me go and bring it. Uh, th that wouldn't be a problem. We have an extra one here. Yeah. Ruth, mommy. Go, go on top I mean, of... my rosary. Rosary, the one I pray with. Yes, mm. we are talking about the same thing. Please, on top of my table. Oh, yeah, that's my room. It's full of anointing. It was blessed. Please, let me get it. I'm coming back now. You hear me? You don't be afraid. Let me get my chaplet. It's okay. My baby. Uh -huh. I'll be back soon. Take care of these people. Ah. Let me get the elders. Yes, we have to inform the elders. Madam, they are at the gate. Ah, yes. 
Thank you for telling me. Thank you. Thank you. I see telling you not to do something oh, now. Go and get enough um, as much elders. Ah, you see, come here. Come here. That is true. Let's inform the elders. Okay. What are you still doing there? What does it look like? I'm staying behind, of course. Why are you sticking in here? It's okay. God will take control. Okay? He will. Sister, don't be afraid. Because there is no connection between darkness and light. Sister Mabel, I am not afraid. Because the battle is the Lord. Let us go. Ruth, okay. no, no, stay. Take care of your brother, okay? <laughs> Don't come out. <laughs> oh, God. It does not belong to any other person apart from God Almighty. That woman, do not speak what you do not know. I command you to take us to his body now. You do not have any authority over me. You cannot command me. I am not taking you to anywhere in the name of Jesus. Amen. I command you now. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Okay. Don't come down. Nobody has to come down. 
that it is the thunderstorms of heaven. Amen. 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 Your power, Jesus. we pray, be Lord. Father, you have the power. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Pastor, it is well with you. It is well with you. In the name of Jesus, you are going to become your side. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 For the last time, lead us to the body of your late husband now. On the count of three. One, two, three. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Oh, who is God called to do?